Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is a twin flame reading for Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. And of course, this may or may not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and leave the rest out. Also, feel free to swap around the energies as well, okay guys? And this is just a flower therapy deck for guidance. Tarot to look into your situation. Romance angels to see what's up with your love life. The hidden truth oracle to get messages from the person you're dealing with, Pisces, okay? So, let's see, Pisces, September 1st to the 15th, one more shuffle for Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Pisces, let your inner beauty shine, Pisces. So, you may be kind of feeling down about yourself. Let go of anxiety, lavender. Um, everybody's getting this, man. So, everybody, please, get some lavender essential oils. Smell it, you know, relax. Raise your vibration. Yeah, I mean, you're putting yourself down, Pisces. So, Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. Yeah, be positive, Pisces. Your thoughts can shape your experience. So you need to focus on the positive, Pisces. Can I get two more cards for Pisces? Come on, fly out of the deck, please. Okay, there you go. Thank you. You are lovable, Pisces. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. You're a spiritual teacher, so everything that you've learned, you're supposed to teach to others. Smile. Notice the difference in healing it makes, okay, Pisces? So let's see. Let's take a look at your tarot situation and then your, your romance life as well. So Pisces. Okay, Pisces. September 1st or the 15th. Two more shuffles for Pisces. One last shuffle for Pisces. Okay, Pisces. So you may be embarking life on a passionate new beginning, Pisces. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, you're feeling optimistic. You're feeling hopeful. But the Tower card, you know, this is change. This is something new to you. So you're being hard on yourself, Pisces. So let's see, Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. Yeah, you see, you're at this checkpoint in your life. You're looking, um, you know, you're evaluating your life. You're here, you're looking at your failures. You're looking at your accomplishments. And you're feeling like you don't catch a break. But you could be dealing with the Libra. Um, you know, you have balance. You know, there's balance in your life that is heading your way, Pisces. The devil card, Capricorn energy. So, I mean, there may be some addictions that you're still having to work on, Pisces. Um, it's even just in general toxic behaviors, toxic thinking, um, you know. And this is something that you know. The high priestess is somebody who's very intuitive. So this is something that you know. That or you're obsessed with somebody who's very intuitive. Um, King of Cups, you may have a lot of love for them. Or in general, this person has a lot of love for you. You could be wanting a serious commitment here. Four cups. You're not happy about your love life situation. Um, you're feeling, your heart is growing heavy, focus, like focusing on it. But honestly, Pisces, um, normally it, it could be a missed opportunity as well. Like, um, you know, you missed your chance, Pisces. Uh, the nine of cups. Yeah, maybe this was something that you were wishing for. Um, this was everything that you're wanting, but with the seven of wands on the floor. I was like, wow. <laughs> um, feeling guarded or on the defense toward it. Uh, maybe somebody has a wall up. 
Pisces. Yeah, and somebody, I mean, it could be, okay, somebody is very jealous, um, emotionally unstable, wanting to pick an argument. Uh, the strength card, this could be something that you are wanting to overcome, Pisces. Um, maybe you're wanting to, I don't know, you or this person is wanting to rush in and... But the Knight of Swords is somebody who's emotionally unstable. So, okay, you could be watching somebody or somebody's watching you. Um, the Page of Swords is stalking. Seven of Swords. Okay, so you could be watching somebody who kind of did you dirty. The Seven of Swords is somebody who's like a, a cheat. It's just sneaky, sneaky. They're just sneaky. And um, so you could be watching them or in general, you're watching them sneakily. They're watching you sneakily, you know, in secret. Yeah, the chariot card, you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Leo as well. Um, wanting to move forward in this, Pisces. The Hierophant, maybe you've learned your lessons. Uh, the Hierophant is also a Taurus. So, um, what's the most likely outcome for Pisces from September 1st through the, the death card upside down? Not wanting to end this. So honestly, the death card upside down, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, but it also means your life focuses on animal instincts. So you stay in your addictions, you stay in your ways because you don't really want to change. Yeah, instead you're just choosing to focus on money, Pisces. Um, take it how it resonates, could be you or this other person, but um, there could be love slowly coming in. You or this other person is wanting to slowly give you love. You could be wanting to slowly offer your cup of love. But the Knight of Cups, like I tell people, it's, it's slow. He's on a horse. He doesn't want to spill his cup. Okay? So he's, he's slow. And it's because there's insecurities involved. There's fear. And smile. Okay? Remember the good times? Uh, that's what, they did, what this is. Reminiscing the good times. It's saying to smile. And it would be actually a lot, a lot more healing for you, Pisces. So, yeah, Queen of Wands, maybe you're scared about somebody who's very free-spirited. The Queen of Wands, to me, is, um, you see how, like, there's the black cat there? So, it's somebody who kind of knows um, about magic and so forth. She's very free-spirited. The It's um, the sunflower children, to me. You know, it's, um, you know, just very passionate, outgoing. They're just different. So, yeah, and maybe this is something that you're wanting to manifest, um, fixing this with this person, Pisces. So, from September 1st to the 15th, Knight of Wands. But, I mean, the energy is very in and out. It's very fickle. It's very bare minimum. Um, maybe that's why this person is guarded. You could be guarded because this person played you. This person is guarded because they are a player. Either one, Pisces. Take it how it resonates. I mean, they're just not ready to commit yet. Pisces is what it looks like. So, um, last shuffle. What's the most likely outcome for Pisces? Okay, so it's like you're wanting, you're, you're starting to understand teamwork. You're wanting a partner that you guys can co-create. And it looks like you might be smoothing things out with a partner that um, you guys can work together as a team. Um, this could be happening the next, uh, September 1st or the 15th, but the Page of Wands, you know, upside down. So somebody who's an imposter says what they think people want to hear. So... This could be you or this other person that's wanting a message. And they say what they what they think you want to hear, Pisces. So, let's see. Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. Two more shuffles for Pisces. One last shuffle for Pisces. It's telling you to trust, okay? So, try to have some faith. Love yourself first. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself, Pisces. Yeah, there's financial issues in your romance life. Um, like I said, uh, you're choosing to just focus on money is what it looks like. So Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. See, very soon. You have to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Um, it says make the effort. So, I mean, if you really love this person, it's saying great love is worth guided, um, you know, taking the, st taking the steps. And stay optimistic, Pisces. Yeah, this was a missed opportunity in the past, Pisces. I'll do one more shuffle, see if we can get anything else. So, yeah, I'd say very soon, um, stay optimistic. 
uh, make the effort and the missed opportunity. Yeah, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and trust. So yeah, you're lovable. Um, just don't don't be so hard on yourself, okay, Pisces? Like, I dropped my crystal. I have a bunch of different crystals. Okay, let's see. Pisces, September 1st to the 15th. September 1st to the 15th. Pisces. One last shuffle for Pisces. I don't react when people mention you, so you or this person could be pretending like it never happened, Pisces. You and I were too young. I'm not available. Yeah, with that, um, with that Knight of Wands, yeah, somebody who's kind of like a player, maybe. Um, yeah, you were the best thing in my life. I'm so attracted to you. In the past, they were probably really attracted to you. Just because, you know, past, present, future, that's how my cards like to fall. So, um... Yeah, we both know I'm not the one for you. Oh, yeah, because the player energy. It's time for me to heal now. I left when I saw you with somebody. We need to let each other go. Huh. Okay, Pisces. So I'm going to go ahead and close it off there. If you like my style of reading and this helped you out in any way, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Okay, guys? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.